How would you like if your caretaker was your daughter? All right, guys, it is 9.46, so good morning. I am on my way to my prenatal appointment. I should have just, um, I should have just canceled it. Because all they're going to do is check my blood pressure. How are you? The baby's moving. Good. Any questions? And then I tell them about the stuff that I've been going through as far as my headaches and blurry vision. Did you try to drink some water? You know how much uh, I wouldn't even say anger. It's just frustration that these nurses and doctors always assume that drinking water or um, taking Tylenol is going to help with you know, what your symptoms or whatever you got going on so they did that with my last two kids and I you know I ended up losing my son in 2021 she tried to say I was dehydrated drink some water and stuff now I'm telling her I have a pain I have a pain right here and you know it's not right and it felt like I, ha I was having contractions but it wasn't the whole time my placenta was detaching and I was bleeding inside and I didn't know until I got up and something popped and then I got dizzy and I threw up blood and I knew I was going to die it's like you know you know when something's wrong with your body like I knew either something was wrong with him and he was dying or I was dying come to find out we both was dying and I kept blacking out trying to fight for my life and that's what I'm trying to avoid. It's just stress. You like you can't you can't tell somebody not stress. You got everything high. Like rent's high, gas high, food's high. I can't even put forty, fifty dollars in my truck without me turning back around to the gas station because I need more gas because it's high. It's like there's too much stuff going on. And the fact that that's still in the back of my head, I got PTSD and bad anxiety and somewhat of depression because I lost my son because they could have saved him. They could have done something. I almost lost my other one I just had because they kept saying, you sure it's not your anxiety because you lost your son? And you know how bad I want to put my hands on them nurses? It's not that. Y'all need to listen. Y'all need to open your ears. If somebody's telling you they don't feel right and they know their body, open your fucking ears and listen. I don't understand. Now I can't even, you know, sue. I, I the one lawyer that I talked to about my son. She said she wants five hundred dollars. Excuse me. I think a day. It's either a day or five hundred dollars an hour or something. All I all I know is when she said five hundred dollars, I was like, huh? I was like, hey. So I'm trying to raise money to, you know, trying to um get a lawyer, and I still want to sue. I don't know, because they're saying, I got different people saying it's too late, it's two years. The other people saying it's three years for Delaware. I, I stay in Delaware, so I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's just, if I got all that going on in my, in my in the back of my head, and it's just, I would never not stress, because I'm stressing. You know, trying to make ends meet. And then it's like, I can't overwork myself, because, you know, I can end up killing me and my daughter because of what happened, because I keep overthinking about the same thing might happen to her that happened to my son. You know, I would have had five kids, but one's gone because they didn't save them. They didn't listen to me. So I'm gonna go here to this appointment, let them know like, hey, I've been having a whole bunch of pressure and pain where I was having it at with my last son. Like, you know, what's up? What you, like, what y'all gonna do? Because at this point, if I put my hands on y'all, I would be the bad guy. Because I'm trying to tell y'all something's wrong with me. And y'all not hearing me out. Then I'd be wrong if I go to the hospital. They're going to look at me crazy. Like they always do. You sure? You didn't take no time? Or did you eat right? What? What, the, what, the, what kind of question is that? Of course. I'm always hungry. I'm going to eat till I can't eat no more. Shoot. What in the world? What's up with people? And I can, my, my phone mount, y'all, it broke. 
I went to five and below, try to get a phone, a phone mount, and <laughs> it broke. So, uh, but this is uh, stupid. I don't know. I'm gonna try to get another one. I'm uh, coming back from my doctor's appointment. So I got my prenatal, and then I got me and the kids' dentist appointment. All the way in Seaford. I'm just tired of driving. Every time I drive. My vision is not right. I get real dizzy and I get these bad headaches. And I did eat before I left. And then the water is just like when I drink water now, it don't it don't taste right. I don't know, maybe it's just my taste buds, but <laughs> I've been trying to stay hydrated. I drink water, ice water. And uh, juice, <coughs> apple juice, <coughs> excuse me, apple juice and sunny delight, uh, orange juice. I uh, not drink a whole bunch of stuff, but I still be thirsty. So, oh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, choking on this. Oh. See, I just had a dizzy spell, I had to catch myself. If I see some um, ponytails, some Afro puffs going, wee, it's my daughter ponytails. I'm gonna knock her ponytails on that wall, hey. the window. <laughs> and she keeps staring at me. Mommy. But yeah, that's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff going on right now. And on top of that, I think I, I'm about to say, I have chronic asthma, so you guys, oh, I'm sorry, I got y'all on love, y'all can hear me, but I'm in Dover, close to my daughter's appointment, I said I gotta be there by 10.05, so I think I left at a decent time, so there's a lot of stuff going on in May, my baby boy birthday, the one that y'all be hearing in the background ah, that, that, and all that he'll be one saturday his first birthday and i've been trying to figure out how the heck i'm going to get his birthday cake for party i i've been on a sh under stress bad and i'm trying not to Shh. i've been trying not to so uh it's just hard and hard times hard times i don't know but yeah, his birthday's Saturday. Um, I just don't know what to do for his birthday. I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. I look at the weather right before I leave, so. But hopefully, this appointment won't be no BS. I'm just tired of going to appointments. I stay, what, 25 minutes away from my doctors for them to say, oh, <laughs> your blood pressure's a little high. Try not stress. Are you serious? You try not to stress my behind. Then I go to an ultrasound and get two pictures, and you can't even see if it's the face, the butt, the vagina, or or anything. What is this? Oh, that's her foot. You could have had a better picture than that. You got me wasting my gas coming here. I could have did a darn picture for all that on my phone. What in the world? Go, mom. Turn this way. Turn this way. And I don't get no help. My big tail on that little small table and my pelvic area is cracking and popping and stuff and I got too much pressure and soreness down there. Hey, y'all want me to turn this way. Turn this way. Okay, drink some cold water. All right, drink something sweet. Eat something sweet. I don't got time for that. Shoot, that's, so, that's too much. If y'all can't take a picture of a fetus inside somebody's stomach, Hey, no point. Y'all should have just canceled my appointment or give me some uh, reimbursement for some gas. Shoot, this is not no no car, and it's not a V8 to V6. But shoot, be putting gas in here, filling that tank up. It costs a lot, a, a lot of money. And what I do for my income, I did. Uh, I was cleaning it at one point, uh, one of the people's houses, but I ain't comfortable with doing that. 
because it's smoke and then dogs I'm allergic to certain dogs and my asthma just start acting up it's real bad so I got seasonal allergies on top of that so I just you know I babysit my um come on I babysit my uh my kids dad well the younger two I babysit his yeah. nephew on the side just to try to have some some type of income bring some little type of money in to help and if y'all know rent shoot my rent was 14 um my rent was 14.50 when i moved damn there two years ago but y'all guess what if i want to do month the month now it's uh it's 16.25 for a three bedroom and three baths and they don't fix one nothing you can call them and say your washer and dryer is messing up which it is and they'll, they'll say oh um, we'll find somebody to come fix in the next oh uh, you know two or three weeks nobody came out there to fix that my light and my oven don't work so we had to like look stuff up on youtube just to figure out how to take it off to fix it and it's like I know water damage when I see water damage and I smell mold, mildew, or whatever. And they try to say, oh, it's not, your toilet's not leaking. I know my toilet's leaking. Because in my ceiling, in my living room, that's all you can, uh, that's all you can see. You can see water damage. And I have four kids. Well, I got, um, you know, I got one. But I got three kids right now that's living with me. And I don't want them inhaling that. So I'm trying to move. Like, it's like, it's too much going on. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. What is going on here? y'all um it, i guess somebody hit a deer and the police had to like, basically direct me to what the what is going on today I, oh my god i can't oh my, he told me to go and the, and the girl on the tesla just keep going how i'm supposed to turn without me hitting the door and cop this is what i'm talking about i oh i can't i can't even let me calm down yeah, I got real rage. <laughs> he telling me to go, and then the woman like he doing this, and she steady trying to go. And I'm like, yeah, what are you doing? We gonna cause a whole nother accident. Somebody ran over a deer and the guts and all that stuff is like out. It's nasty. But yeah, so back to that. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed up in my um in my house it's a townhouse like i said when i moved there i loved it but it's just the fact that you gotta go up 15 stairs just to get to the living room then you will go up the rest of the stairs to the other bathrooms and stuff it's 15 more stairs and uh, you know at the time i wasn't pregnant and i got pregnant with my son and it was like <laughs> okay you know I, I got it you know uh yeah i should be good they tell me to um, stay in shape. How, how can I, as, as me, as a person, how can I stay in shape knowing that I have chronic asthma? Only could do so much without me gasping for my inhaler. And my other doctor saying, like, don't do too much. You know, try to get a routine on doing certain stuff that you, you know, be able to do. You got my OB trying not to gain too much weight exercise. So two different doctors tell me, one, don't do too much or, you know, you won't have a um asthma attack. That one, oh, try not to, you know, gain weight but work out a lot. Then you had this pregnancy. It's just like the same thing, but my asthma is worse. And, oh, hey, <laughs> try not to gain too much weight during this pregnancy. That's so disrespectful. For one, I'm not obese. My height, I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm not obese. All this is baby. He tried saying I need to stop eating and eat healthy. First of all, I'm black, and if I wanted to keep my my look 
and all this other stuff. I would have been upside y'all head by now. I want to talk about my weight and stuff and try not to eat too much. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me start it. But come on, y'all. That's that's for that's um Dover for y'all. The Dover doctors. This is where I'm at. Dedicated to women. So it's raining. Put that in your pocket. So it's raining. So um I'm going to see y'all later. I guess in part two. All the parking spots is took. I'm supposed to be here by 10.05. What time is it? It's like what 10 something? Just turned 10. So I'm gonna see y'all in part two. I don't want to get my new phone wet. And I'll let y'all know how the doctors go.